You know, my job here is a mine general foreman. I manage about 54 to 55 people indirectly here. I have four supervisors that work for me. I still also have to ensure that the underground mines is safe uh, environment for all of the workers, not only the people I'm responsible right throughout the property for the surface, through site services, to the underground. I've been with Chemical for going on 19 and a half years, moving up to 20 here by uh, February, so it's been quite a, quite a ride, I'd say. When I've seen all of these people driving nice fancy vehicles and working this week in, week out, and I thought, wow, there's an opportunity, there's something that I I think I could do. So, uh, so I just took that initiative upon myself and I used to apply and apply. When I was still in school, thank God they didn't take me then. So I finished up my grade 12 and then I got into the mine mill workers training program. From there, once I got into the mining end of it, you know, it, it was a challenge right off the bat and it was new. It was, it was uh, something to learn constantly, daily. I've been working through a lot of different uh, areas, uh, started out at the bottom and uh, here I sit today. With the week in, week out schedule, you get, you get a lot of time to uh, spend with your family on your week off, you know, uh, it's, it's as much as you put into it uh, as you could get out of, uh, of having a healthy and rewarding relationship with your family, your wife, uh, you know, I have a, a kids. I've got a, a son and a daughter that live with me and I have a daughter that lives with her mother. So right now, you know, having that opportunity to, to be at home and to uh, be with the family and, uh, you know, you, you can get a lot, of, a lot done and, you know, I, we wanted a cottage so we worked towards that over the years and uh, we got one and we, we're still working on it. it. It gives us a lot of opportunity there. It also gives me an opportunity to help around the community and to, uh, to spend time with family and friends, uh, do the things I'd, I like to do you know, and my family likes to do, so it gives us a lot of opportunity. So after 20 years, I'm working on my 20th year here, uh, you know, you, you're, you're looking at a pretty substantial sum of money when you go to retire and the company's matching you on that. So. You know, money is not everything, but it uh, it sure helps out a lot when you can get a a, a good paying job. Uh, the starting wages right now for a laborer uh, underground, you're looking around 28 bucks. You know, the uh, technical positions, uh, getting into those areas, you're still looking 28 to 35 dollars an hour. So, the money is is there. It depends on the level of education you have. Without going and getting a technical uh, diploma in mine engineering through Halebury or uh, not having a uh, mine engineering degree, to sit in this chair and help steer this, this company in a direction where we, we, we're targeting safety and environment and radiation and uh, production, uh, I would never be able to sit here without that, ex with, without that experience and, and time. Not taking the time earlier in my life and, and in high school, I, uh, I struggled with, with the math. And uh, once I got into surveying and I, and I seen the direction I wanted to go, you know, getting into the mine planning was the next step and I knew I needed to have those skills, those math skills. Um, you know, the sciences, the English, uh, that type of stuff, that was, that was pretty easy in school, I guess, if you focused on it, but the math, I always thought, what am I ever going to use the maths for? You know, now it's it's a daily it's a daily uh, requirement for my job. You know, I'm f trying to help the engineers here figure out how much concrete we've got to put in raises and how much concrete's got to be poured on floors and you know the reaming and uh, the volumes of material that's coming out. You know, uh, you've got the computer and you've got a calculator, but if you don't have a basic understanding of math. You're, uh, you're not going to hit the right targets, you know, you're going to be a bit off. If you want to come to work in the mining industry, I, I would highly recommend and, and 
it's a requirement. It's working. We're working towards a requirement where grade 12 is uh, is a preferred, and that's the first step to get into even a laborer position here now. Uh, we have a lot of uh, technical positions that we start the laborers out at, in. So we start out as a laborer and we, then we can see what your aptitude is. From there we can progress you either into a raise boring or uh, into a technical field here at, here at the sites. If I was able to turn back time and do it all over again, uh, I would listen a little more to my parents, <laughs> basically a lot more. And that I would focus. I would focus on my maths. I would focus on the sciences end of things. If you want to get into the mining field, uh, yes, you can get in with a grade 12, and you can get in to be a, a very successful uh, uh, apprentice, uh, getting up to a journeyman status. If you want to get into management and you want to aspire to run this mine someday, you need an engineering degree. I strongly suggest you stay in school, get as much education as you can, use the, uh, the systems that are in place for you right now. Uh, if you've got uh, a bunch of different bursaries and programs and sponsorships that can be, uh, can be dug into, uh, get into the engineering end of things, into uh, the sciences, you know. and not only mining, you know, we need, we need more northern doctors. We, we need more um, politicians in general that have a lot of education, you know. So there's, there's everything in, under the sun that you can do uh, just if you focus a bit and uh, get it together early.